On the next page, this is where you're going to plan, okay? You're going to imagine how can you use those materials? What is your sale going to look out look like? So right now is when you are going to choose the material. You, you might have picked three or four things that you circled. Now you have to decide which one of those do I think is going to be the best. Which one do you want to try? When engineers have a job, they don't have all the money in the world most of the time. They, they, there's kind of like rules they have to follow. One of your rules or your constraints is going to be that you can have no more than two of the craft sticks. Okay, and no more than four coffee stirs. So think about, you don't have to use any. Kiera just said, do we only get to do one? Do engineers, did they create, did Leaf and his cousin, did they create one model and that was it? They went no, with it? No. no, they tested it. You're going to create one and then you're going to test it on our track. Then you will get a chance to redesign. But right now, you may go ahead and you can draw what your first design is going to look like. One thing you want to do is label your diagram. If it's made out of felt, maybe write, remember how we did on the flower, write felt and draw an arrow. Okay, so go ahead and get started on your first design and raise your hand when, you want, when you're ready for me to check it. What do you think? Look at your, okay, look at those things you circled. Which of those materials do you think will be the very best? Which one do you want to try first? The plastic bag. Okay, so how are you going to use that plastic bag? Draw a little picture of what you, how are you going to, what's your sale going to look like? So you are going to draw, and look, which of those shapes did you circle? You said a triangle. So when you draw out for me, and I want you to think about, like, how are you going to make it stick to the, to the boat? What is your sail going to look like? All right, so you guys seem like you know what, exactly what you're using, so I'll tell you what. Come here. Bring your papers with you. You need a stick? Just one? And then what else? You have your plastic bag. Okay, is it looking good? Looking how you want it? All right, this is your line here, so you're going to kind of decide where you think it went. And then we need to see your, if your aluminum, if it's really floppy or a little bit floppy or if it doesn't flop at all, okay? So do you want to push the number three over there? Let's see what happens. Hmm. So what do you think? Is it moving? Yeah. Is, this, is our boat moving? Your boat's not moving. What do you think? So what would we mark here? What could we mark here? Where did it go? All right, so maybe just put an X, put it, put it like a little number one at the start. Okay. Now, was this really floppy, a little floppy, or not floppy at all? Did this, I mean, did that stay standing straight up, or did it like blow back? What do you think? When you redesign this, what do you need to, what, what do you need to change about this sale? Like I need to make it a little bit stiffer. It needs to be stiffer. So think about what you could do to make it stiffer with the materials that we have. And then once you have the design, you can go ask Miss Fish for the things to okay. try. Okay, you're next. Put it, you put it on there. How do you want it? I don't know. His looks different, too. His is different from all the others I've seen, too. Okay, you hit number three. <laughs> is it catching? <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, it is. Point on that line where you think it goes. Yeah, you still want pink. Oh, I think you made it further than that. Does that look like almost County. halfway? County. Maybe like here? Okay, so, right. so far yours has gone the farthest. Do you think there's anything that you could do that would make it go even farther? Yeah, that was uh, I, top. Oh, this one's interesting. Let's see. Go. You put it in there. How is it going to go? Before you even start, I have a question for you. Everybody else who brought theirs back here put it up here on the top. How come you made yours go forward? So the air could go in there. So you made it angle forward so that it would catch the air in that way? Interesting. All right, check. I need a Step back a little bit. Hmm. 
What do you think? What do you think the problem is here? Is that the result you expected? Why, okay, so why do you think it's not going like you thought? Is it, is it, look at how, is it catching the air the way you thought it would? So, what could you make, what do you want to try to do to it right there to maybe make it catch more air? Like, close that part up. Close, go ahead and do it. Anything else? No? Let's try it. Go ahead, you can do it. What keeps happening so it's not the air's not going where you want? Because I'm guessing that you wanted the air to go in here and the air's going here, right? So what could you change that would make the air go where you wanted it to go? Because this is a little it's kind of it's kind of flat. Okay, so think about what you could do. What about this piece? Was so what could you maybe change about that, or if there's something you could change about that that would make that a little stiffer? Maybe try it. Maybe try it. We are kind of running out of time for today, but we are going to start right back where we are tomorrow, okay? What did yours yesterday look like? Oh, it was the little foil. Okay. You didn't try to find a way to improve that one? All right, I'm going to let you test this one, but then I want you to go back and I want you to use that, kind of keep that design you had yesterday and see if there's a way to make that work, because I think you might be onto something that nobody else is trying for that one, okay? All right, go ahead and put that one on the way you want it. So you're still leaning it forward like you did the other one? What's the problem? It fell over. So it needs to be able to do what? Straight. What part needs to be straight? Show me with your hand. Like hold it how you want it to look. So you need to find a way to make it kind of like, would you say like to open it up? So when you go back and work on this, you need to find a way to make it do what? To open it up. It is. How is this one different from yesterday's? So you made you used a bigger piece of foil. Is there anything else? I have two sticks and that coffee one coffee stick. What is it? Did you have a stick going like this yesterday? No. So you're hoping. What is this stick going to do for you? It's not really flopping over like it did as much yesterday, is it? But it's not. Can you guys take a step back from the track? But is it going the way you expected? Hmm. Sean, talk to her for a second about what you guys think you could change on that well. Because apparently they're not giving up with the phone. Did you guys did you guys talk? What did you guys come up with? Wait, come here. What did you guys come up with? You think you do? I will go to it. How, this is a second one for you, right? This is an improvement. So what did you change? I changed. I got two Is, let me, is any of this from your original design? So you completely started over. Stop. So you completely started over. Okay. Let's see. Look, 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 look. Back up, back up, Kaya, Kaya. Kaya, look at that. Kaya. 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 I'm trying to say Kaya. Do you, I wonder if there's a way that you can get this side to go like how this one is? Because this side's catching really well, but this one seems like it's still having trouble. Do you think whatever you did over here, you could do over here? And does that give you any ideas for yours, since you also have two bags? Do you see anything he did with his that maybe you're like, hmm, maybe next time I would try that? Can you see why maybe engineers maybe work together instead of on their own? See how you can get ideas from each other? All right, Sean, good job. I saw so many different designs today. Okay, so if you tried something today and you had some success, if yours worked, tell us what you did and let's 
what did you use and what did you make sure, you know, what, what, what were you thinking? So she was thinking, make it like a bowl shape, so the wind would, so the wind would push it back. And how did it work? Hold on. Oh, do you just hold on? We're gonna get to it. Good. Did it work right away? No. It did. did not the first. Time. What? What did it look like when you very first brought it back? What? <laughs> first time I made it, I made it flat because I thought that the wind would like push it. Then I realized it has to be a bowl. Because there's nothing to hold the air. Well, she said first she thought, and I think I saw lots of designs like that, where it was kind of just a big flat shape, okay? But a lot of people were having problems because what was still happening? It was still like flapping. It was still flapping. It wasn't catching. So she said she decided that she needed to make it a bowl shape so it would catch the air. Did you get any advice from anybody to make that bowl? Yeah. Who helped you out? Sean and Kyra. Sean and Kyra. So Sean kind of talked. What did you tell her to do? I said, bend it forward so, so the wind would catch it. Bend the, so when it was flat, you told her to bend the top forward, right? Okay, and then Kyra, what advice did you give her? Because she did that, and when you first brought it back and you had it bent over, did it work right away? Hold on. Did it work right away? Kind of, but what did you notice? I saw that it was kind of, like, the thing was right here, and, and it was like under the bed, so I thought we would tip it up a little. So first you tried just tipping the stick back, and that didn't work. So then you tipped up the foil, yeah. and it worked. So how many people worked together on that design? Three. Three. So do you think that there's a reason that engineers often work together in teams. You're not very often going to find an engineer working all by himself or all by herself. Tomorrow, we're going to kind of take some of those things that we learned today about our sales needed to be something stiff, that it needed to catch and maybe hold some air, okay? What direction they needed to face. You're going to use all those things that you learned. You're going to use that on a new challenge. I'm going to have a new challenge for you tomorrow. Well, what I'm hoping is that they'll have a better idea of using those materials and what, which materials will make good blades on the windmill. Um, they won't have to t go through testing out the tissue paper that they'll know, you know, based on their experiences. We'll see if they picked up a little bit about the placement, that it has to be placed a certain way, because that sometimes catches them. I think especially at this age, they don't think that in that way. And I think that this year with reviewing the properties, which they were exposed to last year a little bit, I think it started them on the direction of thinking more about the job that the sale had to do and what was the best material for the job instead of what was going to look pretty. I would definitely set up that track ahead of time and maybe even um, try out some different designs on your own and test them to kind of see what works. We knew we were going to hook it to a chair, so it was something we could wrap around the chair. We can make it shorter by just twirling up the strings if we need to based on space. So we just have it kind of tied and then duct taped together. And then the other end is attached to a ruler. And one of the things that actually kind of helps me out with that is that I can, there's a measurement on that end between the strings. So when I attach it to the other side, I can just measure and know how far apart they need to be. So it's even. The foam board and the ball, we, there's just nails sticking through and it's half is just attached that way. Um, we use one track really because they need somebody, an adult one-on-one, -on -one there with them. Um, if they had a little more experience, then maybe they could go off in pairs. There are a couple kids that could do that and have a good discussion, but because they need an adult, that's why we kind of just use the one track. I think just going through that process, too, of actually, I think it gets a little out of their system that building and designing for the first time, so it makes that second time when they're doing the blades go a little bit faster. They're a little more focused on their goal or what the job is instead of just we get to build and use materials. It's hard to sometimes see, directly maybe see the connection to the next one, but really think about what, after you do it, you really think about what they need to know to create those blades, and then you can kind of draw out those things in your discussion and when you're, you know, one-on-one -on -one or with the whole group when you're doing this lesson. Mm -hmm.